Good morning. Thank you for joining me for morning prayer on this Thursday, December 30th. Today um, is the Feast of the Holy Innocents transferred, and I invite you to read more about that at the end of this order of service. We don't really talk too much about this feast day because it is a very sad, sad story, um, but one that is part of our story. So please do learn about it. You did not come into this world in a show of power and glory. You did not shine forth for all of creation to behold a tiny spark, a newborn baby, visible to parents and curious animals, a host of angels away from the populated areas, singing to migrant workers, a sparkling star guiding foreigners to see what neighbors could not. Open our hearts, merciful God, to the sparks of your presence still in this world. Open our eyes that we might behold your presence in the least likely of places and among the least likely of people. God with us, kindle your spark within us that together we may shine forth your light. We might banish the shadows of this world. We might be the continuation of the Christmas miracle. Emmanuel is in this world. God is with us now and evermore. Illumine our hearts, gracious God, that we might speak anew the words your son will teach us. O oh Lord, open our lips and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you now and forever. Amen. O come, let us worship and lift our hearts, not because the world is good and last week was awesome, but because the earth is the Lord's and everything in it, the God of the whole earth. O come, let us worship and raise our hands, not because our lives are all sweetness and light, but because even those who walk in darkness can see a great light, the bright and morning star. O come, let us worship and bow down, not because God gives us what we want, but because God gives us what we need the Holy Child Jesus, God's unspeakable gift. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. A reading from the prophet Jeremiah. Thus says the Lord, a voice is heard in Rama, lamentation and bitter weeping. Rachel is weeping for her children. She refuses to be comforted for her children because they are no more. Thus says the Lord, keep your voice from weeping and your eyes from tears, for there is reward for your work, says the Lord. They shall come back from the land of the enemy. There is hope for your future, says the Lord. Your children shall come back to their own country. The word of the Lord. Then I saw a new heaven and a new earth, for the first heaven and the first earth had passed away, and the sea was no more. And I saw the holy city, the new Jerusalem, coming down out of heaven from God, or prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. And I heard a loud voice from the throne saying, see, the home of God is among mortals. He will dwell with them as their God. They will be his people, and God himself will be with them. He will wipe away every tear from their eyes. Death will be no more. Mourning and crying and pain will be no more, for the first things have passed away. And the one who was seated on the throne said, see, I am making all things new. Also, he said, write this, for these words are trustworthy and true. Then he said to me, it is done. I am the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. To the thirsty, I will give water as a gift from the spring of the water of life. Those who conquer will inherit these things, and I will be their God, and they will be my children. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. A reading from the Gospel of Matthew. Now, after they had left, an angel of the Lord appeared to Joseph in a dream and said, Get up, take the child and his mother, and flee to Egypt, and remain there until I tell you. For Herod is about to search for the child to destroy him. Then Joseph got up, took the child and his mother by night and went to Egypt and remained there until the death of Herod. This was to fulfill what had been spoken by the Lord through the prophet. Out of Egypt, I have called my son. 
When Herod saw that he had been tricked by the wise men, he was infuriated and he sent and killed all the children in and around Bethlehem who were two years old or under, according to the time that he had learned from the wise men. Then was fulfilled what had been spoken through the prophet Jeremiah. A voice was heard in Ramah wailing and loud lamentation, Rachel weeping for her children. She refused to be consoled because they are no more. The word of the Lord. <clears throat> my soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God, my savior, for he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day, all generations will call me blessed. The almighty has done great things for me and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm. He has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things <coughs> and the rich. He has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel. <coughs> For he has remembered his promise of mercy, the promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. <coughs> Excuse me. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. <clears throat> he descended to the dead. And on the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever, amen. <clears throat> Save your people, Lord, and bless your inheritance. Govern and uphold them now and always. Day by day, we bless you. We praise your name forever. Lord, keep us from all sin today. Have mercy on us, Lord, have mercy. Lord, show us your love and mercy, for we put our trust in you. In you, Lord, is our hope, and we shall never hope in vain. Shed upon your church, O Lord, the brightness of your light, that we, being illumined by the teaching of your apostle and evangelist John, may so walk in the light of your truth that at length we may attain to the fullness of eternal life through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Pause, children, in this space between Christmas parties and those of New Year, between gift unwrapping and cleaning up, between longing and thanksgiving, between endings and beginnings, between dismay and joy, between sacred and ordinary. <clears throat> pause and remember whose you are and whose you will always be. Pause and remember in whose name you pray and whose love you seek and hold and give away. Pause and pray that all may see the world with eyes of wonder of the newborn Christ with the loving heart of God's act of self-giving. Pause and pray that we may all treat one another with the honor and adoration Mary and Joseph, shepherds and wise ones, angels and all the heavenly choir, showed to the tiny child. In the name of Christ, we pray for every person living now, gone before or yet to come in every nation on earth. I invite your personal prayers at this time. In the name of Christ, we pray, amen. The child is born, alleluia. Our God has come among us. Let the whole earth rejoice. Let us leave the manger and return to our daily routines 
knowing that we have seen the Lord and glorifying and praising God for all that we have heard and seen. Hallelujah, our God is now here. Go forth with full confidence and joy that you have seen the Messiah. Hallelujah, our God is now here. Go forth to spread the good news wherever you go, sharing God's love and promise with all whom you meet. Go into the world to find the lost, heal the broken, feed the hungry, release the prisoner, rebuild the nations, bring peace among people and make music in every heart. Hallelujah, our God is now here. In the name of our God, creator, Christ, and Holy Spirit, we cry out with the angels in the heavens and the shepherds in the fields. Alleluia, our God is now here. Amen. And may the blessing of God, the love of Jesus Christ, and the presence of the Holy Spirit surround us and sustain us in the coming days.